of the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. And as you can see, it's time to go back to the theater. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to review a movie today that came out last weekend in wide release. It released even a little earlier in limited release. Uh, finally got the chance to check this one out. It's picking up a lot of buzz. And uh, here we go. My review of the 2018 drama, The Hate You Give, coming up now. Star Carter is a 16-year-old black girl who lives in the mostly poor neighborhood of Garden Heights. However, she and her siblings attend a predominantly white private school. Star finds herself having to play two different versions of herself. One, the way she is at home with her family and older friends, and the other, how she acts at school with her classmates and white boyfriend. One night after a party, Star is driving with a childhood friend named Khalil, and the two get pulled over by a white policeman. While pulled over, Khalil grabs a hairbrush and the officer shoots him, thinking he was grabbing a weapon. The city is outraged about his death, and Star must decide if she wants to talk at a hearing, seeing as she was the only eyewitness. So what did I think of The Hate You Give? I thought it's a terrific and powerful drama based on the novel of the same name. The film has a very important and topical message throughout, dealing with subjects such as racism, race relations, and police brutality. From the first scene of the movie, you can tell this is going to be a compelling experience, as Star's father tells a younger version of her and her brothers what to do if they ever get pulled over by the police. It's definitely filled with emotional scenes, especially seeing the shooting and the effect it has on all of the characters. Because Khalil had to resort to selling drugs, it's interesting how some look at the case, even though he really had no other options on how he could make money he needed. It also brings in a storyline of the drug kingpin threatening Star and her family so she doesn't talk. There's also a feud that begins between Star and one of her best friends at school because she sees everything that happens in a different point of view. Some of the characters from school luckily try to understand Star's conflict and try to help. Between some of the heartbreaking sequences, there are some sweet family moments and even a few good laughs sprinkled in here and there. I found myself really caring about these characters and really rooting for them. Spectacular performances here by the cast, starring Amanda Stenberg as Star Carter, the teen girl whose world is turned upside down when her friend is killed by a cop, Regina Hall as Lisa Carter, Star's loving mother who wants the family to move out of the city, Russell Hornsby as Maverick Carter, Star's father who is the proud owner of a local grocery store that had a past that put him in prison, K.J. Appa as Chris, Star's white boyfriend, trying to understand what goes on when she's not around, and Lamar Johnson as Seven, Star's older half-brother. I also wouldn't be surprised if the film earns a few nods this awards season as well. Not only is The Hate You Give one of the most relevant movies of the year, it's one of the most powerful. I'm going to give it the rating of... A-List Approved. That's right, it gets the A-List. Seal of approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.